What's going on, my friends? Welcome to this video. We're going to dive into how to create a pre-launch landing page before you launch your online store so you can start collecting email addresses and you can start driving traffic to your online store without actually, you know, selling things. So I'm going to walk you through a free theme and then I'm going to show you one that is not a free theme, which is going to be fetch. And I have created the same page on fetch and you'll see how, how much better it looks basically. So the paid themes are always going to be a little bit better, but for this purpose, let's just go into a free one. And Dawn is, is a really popular free one. So we're going to come here. We're going to click customize. We're going to go up here and we're going to go down to others. And then we're going to click password page. So you can see the way it looks originally is pretty ugly and basic. So we're going to have to update uh, an image, our branding, our logo, uh, those kind of things at the minimum. And this will make it a little bit more on brand, but also like we'll get people to want to actually give you their email address. People aren't going to just give you their email address if your page looks really crappy. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here. We're going to edit the logo and then just for context, I have already gone in here and added the colors because I wanted a green and a purple, <clears throat> but that's fine. So we're going to come over here and we're going to add a logo. So I already have a logo in here because I've been playing around with this for a little bit. I added a couple images, a video, and then I have a couple different logos depending on the size. So I'm going to go in and add that. And then you can come here and you can adjust how big it looks up here. So make it a little bit bigger. Okay. And then see if there's anything else there. So for now, I'm going to keep the colors and everything a little bit simple. You can definitely play around with this as much as you want. So I'm going to give you a couple of ideas for this because I don't love how this looks. I don't like the layout. I've already been playing around with it on a different page just to test. And I actually don't like the way this looks. It's going to be really, really hard to make this page look really attractive and showcase like a snippet of your product with this huge block. And then depending on the colors and things like that, it's hard for text. It can be hard with text overlay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first show you what it will look like with this, with this block here. And then I'm going to give you a couple of alternatives and then you can figure out which one's good for you. So for your pre-launch landing page, you always want to have a picture that either gives people like a snippet of what product you're going to be selling, like the best picture of a product or your brand, or you can use a different image that sort of would relate to your business or brand that maybe isn't a, a, a photo of your product. So I actually went to pexels.com, P-E-X-E-L-S. It's an amazing website and they have awesome free photos that you can use. And I just typed in dog, dog brand or something like that. And because the example I'm going to give you is going to be for a dog poop bag business. And so I found a couple images that fit exactly of like the vibe I'm looking for. So anyway, so I'm going to come here and I'm just going to choose one just to get started. So you can see here the block completely covers the girl and the dog. So if I come down here and I click banner height and I click large, for example, we can see that we have a little bit more space to play with, but I'm going to have to get this block to move up a little bit. So I'm going to come down. Um, let's see. Okay. So desktop content position. So I'm going to see if I can do a middle. I'm sorry, a top center. Sorry. I can't think right now. Okay. So that's a little bit better, but you can see this looks really, really terrible, right? So now let's do bottom center. And again, cuts off a lot of the dog and the person. So again, I don't like this at all. If you click, if you unclick show container on desktop, you can see that the text is just over the page, but you can't read it, right? <clears throat> if I click overlay,
So that really doesn't look great. And even if the text is white, but the problem is that if we go to mobile and the text was white, you can't see it. So let's go down here and I guess we could do that too. Yeah, so this just like doesn't look quite good at all. So I really don't like this. You have, So with these themes, you have to just play around with the page and just see what looks good, what doesn't look good. So let's say, for example, I'm going to go back to the mobile view and I'm going to untick this box here. So it says show content below image on mobile. So now it's just going to go right on the page here. And we can make the text a little bigger. Yeah, this just looks really weird. I don't like it at all. So anyway, um, I think that looks really awkward. So I'm going to put it back so the text goes underneath the image. So I think this looks okay, right? The problem is, is desktop view. So you can't read any of this and it just doesn't look good. So I'm going to give you an alternative option here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Hold on one sec. <clears throat> I'm going to come back here and I'm going to click banner height small. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to delete the text and you'll see what I do in a sec. I promise it will look good. All right, we're just going to remove the email form. Okay, so you can see here, all I've done is I've deleted the text and the little email block there. <clears throat> And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click add section and I'm going to click, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click email sign up. So now I've kind of manipulated this a little bit where it looks good on desktop. It looks good on mobile, although we do have to play around with a little bit. We have to play around so this little block isn't there, but it looks good on both. The text is visible and we just have a little bit of wiggle room here. So let's kind of play around with this now. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the color of this just to give it a little bit of personality. So if we go over here and we click scheme one change, I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to click the purple. And see like instantly it just makes the page look so much better when we add a little bit of color. So I'm going to click here now I'm going to adjust the text. So what text do you want here is you're letting people know that you have a store that's coming soon or launching soon and you want to give them some reason to join your email list. So I always tell people, give people an incentive. People will be more likely to join your email list when you're launching a store if they're going to get something important from it. So for this example, I'm just going to kind of use some simple text. Whoops. Dog pop bags. Okay. Dog poop bags have never been so fun. And then under here. So for this, what if you could put something like launching soon, get 20% off or something. So <clears throat> I like just to tell people something interesting and fun. And then I'm going to put a little bit about what we're selling. Colorful and compostable dog poop bags or something like that. Colorful and compostable. Everything you need to make your dog walks a little more fun. Okay, so now I'm going to put something like, and again, this might not be the ideal text here. You could kind of play around with this a little bit. You want to keep it as short and sweet as possible. Um, 
So maybe we'll put colorful and compostable poop bags. And then maybe I'll do all caps. Let's see how this looks. We're launching soon. Join our email list to get 25% off when we launch. Or we could do something like this. We could adjust this text and we could make it a different heading or something. I don't know. These kind of all look bad. So <laughs> sometimes you just have to play around a little bit until something looks pretty good. So just for an example, I'll just kind of wrap it up there. But I'm going to adjust this because I don't like how that looks. Okay, dog poop bags have never been so fun. Compostable and colorful. So again, we'll just kind of keep it simple for now, but I'm just trying to give you an example of what you would put here. So something that tells people what you're selling, what's coming soon, and then what is the incentive. So play around with that, see how it looks. Um, it's not going to let me adjust this form at all anymore. So again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but let's kind of make sure it looks okay in mobile. Okay. So what happens here is that there's a big white space here and this looks really bad. So there's two things about mobile view that I don't like. One is this white block. And then one is that the header is like too big on the mobile view. So let's go see here if we can adjust this a little bit. If there's a mobile logo, it doesn't look like there is, but let's see if we adjust it a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to come here and try to figure out what, 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 where is that white gap coming from? So sometimes you have to kind of play around with the themes because they're a little bit different, but I'm going to guess it's because of this right here that is ticked on. So I'm going to untick and then boom, it's fixed. So show content below image on mobile. So that's why that, that is there. It's basically mimicking like if the text block on the desktop was coming below it. So you can see now it's fixed. So again, is this the best page ever? Probably not, but it still looks great. We have a little bit of information about what we're launching and we have an incentive. We have an email list. We have some color. We have a cute logo and we have a nice picture that sort of represents a brand. So you can kind of play around to see what will look good for you. But the cool thing is that you can actually come here and add more things. So say you were like, we want to add in a video. Let's put a video down there. So let's see what it says here. URL. All right, let's see. So we have a video already. So let's see what it looks. We're going to delete the word video up here. And we're going to see if we can make it full size. Make section full width. Full width. And we're actually going to get rid of the padding at the top to get rid of that white block. And we'll save it and then we can actually preview and see what it looks like. <clears throat> so like, look at how cool that looks, right? And technically you would want another call to action below it, but for this video, I'm just going to keep this short and sweet. So this is a really great video that you could use to collect email addresses before you launch. And here's what it would look like on mobile. So like really, really cute. Again, ideally you'd want this section a little bit smaller, but um, you can kind of play around with it to see how it will look good for your brand. So what you'll do is you'll, on your preferences page, so I'm going to come back to, I'm going to exit here. 
So in your preferences page down here, you'll have a password. So basically, when you go back to your online store, sorry, when you go back to your online store and you come in here again, you click Dawn. <clears throat> you can actually, once you connect your website domain to this, you can actually give people that password page um, before everything else is actually public. So again, it gives you a great way to promote your business before you actually launch your store. So that is how you do that. And then I'm going to show you a little example of one that I built in Fetch, just so you can see the difference. So Fetch is a paid theme. I think it's like $380 maybe. But just overall, I would say it looks a lot better. You can do a little bit more customization with it. But, you know, like for all intents and purposes, this doesn't look that different than the other page, right? It looks a little bit better, but not drastically different. So what I've done here is <clears throat> the thing that they had up here as the hero section and didn't, I didn't like it. So I basically deleted it. I added in a video hero, you can see here, and then I just changed the colors on the email sign up here. So there's a little bit more text here. I could play, I could add more text on this theme and it looked a lot better. Like you can see here, the sizing is different and it looks really good. But, you know, for, again, if you're just playing around, you want to play around with some different things while you're building your website, um, you know, go with the free version if you want and, you know, start promoting it. So, all right, my friends, be sure to tap that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions on this video or anything else on Shopify, be sure to let me know. And I am building out a whole series of videos on basically... An entire series of videos on launching an online store and launching an online brand and all the things that go with it. So be sure to check out my build an empire uh, playlist below and you can actually watch some of the videos because I actually am launching a dog poop bag brand called Amuse Joy Poop Bags. This is not the actual uh, logo, but just for I wanted to use that for an example for this video, but I am actually launching this business and I'm basically sharing all the behind the scenes with you in this video series. So you can, again, find it below <clears throat> and you can go to my channel and you can look up the Build an Empire playlist. All right, my friends, I'll see you in next week's video.